Um, oh, one thing I'm going to start now. She's got. You can you can see what she's got here. I mean, we've we've seen a lot worse, but you know what? This is we called a bunch of people to try to find somebody that had some really good mats on them. But this is this is where they start off. They kind of snowball them. And the reason why they get it behind the ears a lot is is that it's that fuzzy, like especially on the goldens, that fuzzy, thin, um, very dry stuff that they get. That's the stuff that really mats up behind the ears. So it starts off with a little tiny tangle. Every time the dogs get wet, the mats end up drying and getting a lot tighter. So that's, that's where it ends up getting that snowball effect. Now she's actually got a rim of mats that's working its way right down into her neckline. She's got some matting in through here and a little bit on her butt. Um, there's a lot of um, detangling and dematting sprays on the market. One of my favorites is the Statsco spray, and it's a conditioning spray, a, a detangling spray. Um, comes, you can buy it in the gallons, um, which we go through at my shop by the gallon. Um, it comes in the 32 ounce and the 8 ounce size. So what I usually like to do is um, I'm going to just start off by, I, I take this mat and I'm just going to really saturate it right down at the skin. I kind of work it in with my fingers just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you? Yeah, we're wrong. <laughs> Just to try to move her head. <laughs> so I, I want to actually get that mat really good and wet. So when you have a dog that comes in your shop, you know, when you, when you check in the dogs, it's really, really important to make sure that you check in the dogs before the owner leaves. If you have matting on your dog, you need to make sure that you tell the client before they leave your shop that there's going to be a dematting fee. We always give them an option that you know we can either take it all off and start from scratch or we charge a dematting fee whatever it is um, I charge by the minute actually so I try to really time myself and I charge a dollar a minute for dematting um, so you, but it, it's very important that you make sure that the client know that because if they come back to pick up their dog and they've got a twenty twenty five dollar dematting fee they're going to be really upset if they don't know about that ahead of time and, uh, you know and that, that it, um, eliminates the clients that come back with the check already made out because last time it was seventy dollars and this time it's a hundred and seventy dollars so. and if you have a golden like this what happens is it once they get those ear mats a lot of groomers just want to cut them right out you know just take a blade and cut them right out well that causes a lot of irritation behind the ear and as that hair grows back in it starts to tangle up around the long hair and it causes even more mats so we're trying to give you a, an easy solution just to getting, you know, I mean, this dog isn't matted to the skin, but it's got some bad ear mats. So we're just trying to give you an, some easy options to, to removing these without harming the dog and trying to keep, you know, as much hair as we can on the dog. Now, along with the Statsco spray, my, my um, favorite dematting brush are the Le Pooch brushes. Now, these brushes come in different sizes and different textures. This is a real soft one. Um, which would be, you know, awesome for like your Maltese or, you know, kind of your, maybe a thin coated breed, some of your schnauzers and everything. And then they go to a medium and even a coarser one. Um, for the large breeds, they actually have a double width. And first time I saw these brushes, I thought, what the heck am I going to do with that? But once I actually started using them, I absolutely love them. They don't cause irritation because they're actually flexible and they bend with the dog. So. Um, it, it's not like using those hard shelled plastic brushes that you know you just kind of it's just kind of scraping across the dog's skin. This actually kind of moves with you as you're as you're dematting. So these work really well. Um, this one is I think they actually call this one the mat breaker. So this is probably the first first one that I would go to on a dog like this. Now I've, I've really pretty much saturated her, her um, ears with that. And using a blow dryer will help a lot too. Um, it's kind of hard to do that. Or, uh, you know, and speak over the sound of it and everything. So we're just going to kind of work our magic. Um, but what what I want to try to do first is to get to the part that isn't matted, and just kind of start in in layers. When you get to some of these, when you get the the dogs that have these really thick thick mats behind the ears, what I find rather than like Jay said, you don't want to take a clipper and shave out this big bald patch. But usually, if you can break the mat open, you can get it out really easy. So if you have a mat. And I do have a, actually a pair of thinners that are on the dull side. Um, if you have a, 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 like a really big flap of a mat, what I would do right here is I hold the, um, the skin in my fingers so I, I know where, exactly where her skin is. I thought that was a tick right in the middle of it. What is it? What is it? Uh -huh. Oh, it's a stick. 
<laughs> I saw these little leg looking things. Um, so I know exactly where it is. And if you take a pair of thinning shears and I just cut right into that mat, oh, hey girl. Um, what you can see now where, where that mat was a really hard, hard piece, now you can actually see the center of the mat where I can actually pull it apart better. So once you actually cut the mat in half, it's a lot, sorry, it's a lot easier to break it up and get it out. 